Okay, with that, we're gonna move to the tax rate discussion. So we finished this discussion with a, um, with a conversation uh, with our finance director. Um, he, has, he has more than strongly advised that um, he would, um, uh, his advice would be that we should square things up this year. We gave back over a million dollars last year. Um, if I use Mr. Slater's numbers, that gives us $9 million that we've given back over the last three years as, um, as all three forms of government. And the three forms of government are school, library, and town. Um, where we're at right now is, is that we have about $500,000 in the undesignated fund balance. Five million. Uh, five, five million in the undesignated yes. fund balance. We're looking to take 500000 out. To make it zero would be a little over 500000 yes. <clears throat> so I'm um, at the height of our undesignated fund balance over the last five or six years. We were up around $9 million at one point, right? That is correct. So we've cut our undesignated fund balance in half. Um, so I'll hear from the council. Let's hear what you want to do. Um, and then I'll add my own comments. It's out to you guys. So you have. So I'll give you choices. I'm gonna try to make this easy. <laughs> you can make a motion to lower the, the lower the, uh, the the tax rate. You can make a motion to leave the tax rate the same. Um, you can. You can't table it. It's been tabled. So it's got to be addressed tonight so that we can send out the tax bills. Because I, you know, as it is right now, the tax bills will probably arrive somewhere. We'll probably be arrive in the next week to 10 days and be due somewhere between the 20th and the 23rd of, of December, which is not what anybody wants to see in those dates. So for discussion, I'd like to make a motion to reduce the tax rate to last year's figure. Second. Right. I have a motion and a second. I have a motion on the floor. Discussion. So I made the motion because I don't think it's the right time. Um, Everybody, as, as you heard today, is really suffering. And I don't think it's the time to, to start um, even in the score, I guess. And, you know, I, I, I've I promised to keep the tax rate down as, as much as possible while I'm uh, an elected official, and I want to keep that promise. Um, and I don't think $500,000 is going gonna, is gonna to break us. I really don't. So that's my, my two cents. I, uh, I echo the same feelings. I feel that we are in a perfect storm and we have to be conscious of the people who are out there and it's their money. It's not our money, it's their money and we have to be good stewards of it and do the right thing and help them through as a team through this time. Um, some people have a lot of money in their 401ks and, they're and they can depend on that and then you have people who don't and um, I, I think it's a community both rich and poor. And we don't want to be an elitist town. We want to be an inclusive town who cares about people who do struggle and people who are too proud to come here and maybe say, I'm struggling, I'm hurting. But I can tell you that I get tons of phone calls. I, it takes me two and a half to three hours to get through Market Basket because every aisle someone is broaching me saying, what's going on? What can we do? How can you help? And this is the only thing that I can come up with. I, I, so I have to say that I am with Joe on this one. I, I just don't, if I can just comment to what you just said, Mr. Chairman. Mm -hmm. I, I just don't know that, like, I don't know if there's a cer certain circle people go through. You know, I don't know if there's a certain segment of the population that can speak to me or speak to you or speak to, I just don't know because it's just been so clear over the past, I don't know, six months, eight months that a couple of the people years, that right? I, that I, the circles that I'm in, there's just no way. I mean, there's just no way I could do it. Do it to them, you know. I just, again, you're you, you have to represent the people that that you're supposed to represent. So that's all I'm doing right now, you know. Personally, I could pay the fifty bucks, you know. I can do it. Not a, not a problem. I mean, I'm 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 lucky. You know what I mean? I'm very very fortunate. But unfortunately, I have to represent the people that um, are in my circle, and there's lots of them. So. Maybe that's a di that maybe that's the difference between opinions. I'm, I'm just hearing a lot of people that I couldn't just look the other way for, you know. So. Well, Joe, there are people who can overpay, right? Yeah. Cover up that cost if you feel that you have extra money and you want to help. Go right ahead. Mr. Chair, please proceed. <clears throat> um, so last week, the biggest reason why, <clears throat> well, there's two reasons really why I wanted to 
push this off another week is one of it was because it was the first time I heard about it. And I don't like to make decisions that are rash or knee jerk. And, um, you know, I try to do look at the big picture and, and see what's best for the community. Um, the other thing is I wanted to hear from our constituents and our people. And I had encouraged, if everyone can remember, I had encouraged people to approach us and discuss it and email the council, email the council as a whole, email the council individual, call us, hit us up on Facebook, whatever, but reach out and communicate where you're at so I know where to stand. And I, my point of bringing that up is, and I wanted to share a tally that I took over the past week since the, in, the completion of the last meeting. Since that meeting, either in person, email, or phone call, I've had, and including tonight's public comment, there had been four people that are in favor, not including the counselors, four people that are in favor, that I personally heard, of uh, pulling the 500 plus out of the undesignated fund balance to offset the, the tax rate, that 10 cents. There had been 12 that had spoken in favor of keeping it as is. My encouragement is we pack these meetings now. However, our door, our email is in, it, we're out and about, as Councillor Paul said, she's at Market Basket. Mr. <laughs> Chairman Farrell has said he, he shops at Market Basket. I'm at Market Basket. You know, and come to us, talk to us, let us hear these things. But for a number that specifically came up in person and it said, you know, 12, 12 are, are in favor of, of leaving the undesignated fund balance. Four are in favor of offsetting the tax rate. Why the des disparity? Let's fix that. Let's communicate. That's, that's, I need to hear from, we need to hear from, from our people. Thank you. Okay, so I did hear from Councillor Butler. He is detained and can't get here. Um, he is not voting tonight but he has uh, indicated to me via text that he um, uh, favors the finance director's recommendation, but he is not voting tonight. So here's the telling thing for me. You know, I'm the outside guy at the elections, so 12,000 people walk past me. Not one person asked me about the tax rate. I went to the football game and there were several thousand people there, and I got a fair handful of people saying, hey, hold the line. We're, you know, you need to hold the line. So here, here's where my decision comes down to. I just asked the finance director a question. We had $9 million and we have $5 million now. We're in the red zone. We cut our savings in half. You know, I, I pay for gas and oil just like everybody else. You know, two and a half years ago, I paid $2,000 to heat my house. This year, I'll pay $5,000 to heat my house. It's not that I don't hear people. It's not that I don't understand. It's a, it's a difficult decision. If we hadn't already given back $9 million and we hadn't already reduced our fund balance by $4 million, discussion worth having. So I'll call for the vote. All those in favor, signify by, by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed. Opposed. Motion fails. Tax rates 1848. Chairman that means, folks, is, is that when we tie, the motion fails.